Hello all, welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting SQL question. So the question is, in a given table named orders, you have two columns, customer name and order date. And uh, you have few entries with customers on the orders they have. So you have Alice in the first, the first customer. Uh, Alice has placed order on April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th on five consecutive days and Bob has placed an order on April 1st and April 2nd, April 4th and April 6th, only on two consecutive days. And Charlie has placed an order on April 4th, April 3rd, April 5th and April 6th, so only two consecutive days. So in the output, I need all the customers who are who placed an order on three consecutive days. So, uh, so, on, uh, so here um, only Alice has placed an order on three consecutive days because 1 2 3 4 and 5 on 3 consecutive days whereas bob and charlie have not placed in order, have not placed orders on 3 consecutive days so hope you all understood the question uh, so let's go back to sql server studio and see how we can solve this i have already created this table um, i'll provide you the dml script shortly and uh, this is the input so now um, to get the customers having uh, who have placed orders on 3 consecutive days we need to play with this order date column. So in, in, in order to do that, we need to group uh, the days uh, on, of three consecutive days. So we need to group that together. So here if you see one, two, three, four and five. So we need to group all these five together. And similarly, wherever you see consecutive days, you need to group those into one. You need to um, create a new column such that it will help you to group the consecutive days. So for Bob, one and two, you need to have a separate uh, you need to have a column identifying saying that these two are two consecutive orders and similarly charlie for five and six the new column should uh, show indicate as that these are two consecutive orders so for that let's create a column called so let's use row number first so row number over partition by partition so whenever you uh, you are planning to categorize or you, if you are planning to categorize uh, multiple rows into a single row it's always better to use a row number row number uh, customer name uh, order by order date so let's see what we are getting in this row number so yeah if you see here um, we are getting all the uh, uh, row numbers 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 so nothing nothing different here so now what i'll do i'll just add um, a, a, a date on or a date uh, with the row number so basically uh, i'll use the date add function so date add function will add some um, um, so date add function um, i want to add uh, some uh, so data add function I'll add a, uh, a I'll take a date as 1900 01 01 I take some static date and I'll make sure that I'll add some uh, days to this date so basically whatever number the number of days whatever row number is there so here it is one so I'll add one day uh, to 1900 this date and here I'll add two days to this date so since I have to add it in days I'll keep day so row, day, day, data add function will require uh, three columns. So first one is the day, uh, date part, whether you want to add the days or the months or the year. And if it is the day part, how many days you want to add. So I want to add the row number, num this, this many number of days. And to what date you want to add. Okay, so I want to add uh, these many number of days to this date. Okay, so now let's see what is the output after I add the data. So yeah, so from 1900, uh, January 1st, 1900, I've added, so let's create this column separately so that uh, uh, we can understand um, clearly as RN and I'll this R date. So if I run this, so if you see for 1900, I added one day, uh, sorry for 19, January 1st, 1900, I added one day, it became January 2nd. Similarly, for January 2nd, uh, for January 1st, I had two days, it became January 3rd. Similarly, three days, January 4th, four days, January 5th, five days, January 6th. And similarly, like this, 
it happened. So now what I'll do, I'll just subtract uh, order date uh, and RN date. So basically here um, if I subtract uh, April, April 1st, 2024 with uh, Jan 2nd, 1900, let's see what is the uh, output we are getting. So, comma, order date minus this particular column, I'll add. Whatever RN date we have created, we'll add, we'll minus, subtract it as date diff, a difference. So, when I run this, so yeah, if you see the date difference, so uh, I am subtracting basically this order date and uh, this RN date and uh, this is what I get, okay, 2024, 331, 2024, 331, 2024, 331. So for Alice, since it is uh, uh, consecutive days, right, so I am getting the date difference as same, same date difference because uh, here, here uh, the difference will be same, whatever the difference you are getting. Here one day is added and here also one day is added. So if you add one day to both, uh, basically here A, A minus B you are getting some output and if you are doing A plus 1 minus of B plus 1, you will get some, the same output, right. So same thing is happening here. So now I have created a column which will distinguish the consecu consecutive rows. For Alice now, since all these five are consecutive orders, so you are seeing the same date for, uh, same day, uh, same value for all, uh, for the all the five, all the five orders and for Bob only these two are consecutive orders. So I am seeing the same date only for these two and for the other uh, two orders I am seeing different dates. And for Charlie uh, since only these two are consecutive orders I am seeing only the same date for these two consecutive orders. So now um, since, um, so now let us keep this in CT with CT as, so we want only the customer name as an output. Uh, who are having uh, orders, uh, who have placed more than three consecutive orders. So for that, let us do select from CTE. So here I want customer name, comma, order, uh, customer name. So this is the uh, column uh, which we have to use to distinguish. As I told earlier, we need some column which, which uh, explains us uh, what are the consecutive orders. So I will use this day difference comma count of 1 as CNT and uh, since I am using an aggregate function I have to use the group by as well. Group by this customer name comma date difference. So now if I run this what am I getting? So yeah if you see Alice has 5 uh, consecutive orders, Bob has 2 consecutive orders and 1 uh, and again since these are uh, they, since they have uh, Bob has uh, two separate orders, so one and one you are getting, and Charlie also has two consecutive orders. So now what I need to do, I need to return customers who are having order uh, three more than uh, are having three consecutive orders. So Alice has three consecutive orders, so I'll just write having count of one is equal to three. Will is equal to three work? Let's see. So count of 1 is equal to 3 is not coming because Alice has more than 3 consecutive orders. So what we will do? Greater than or equal to 3. <coughs> so if, if a person has more than 3 consecutive orders, that means he also has 3 consecutive orders. So that is why I will use greater than or equal to 3. So Alice has, uh, so, um, so Alice is written. Uh, but I do not want these columns, I just need the customer name. So I will just write customer name, I will just, okay. So now only Alice has three consecutive orders. So now let's see if uh, there is if if see, let's see if let's return the customers who are having only two consecutive orders or more uh, minimum two consecutive orders. So instead of three, I'll write two. And uh, if I run this, I need to get all Alice, Bob, and Charlie because if you see in the input, Alice has more three consecutive orders minimum, and Bob has uh, two consecutive orders. Uh, these two April 1st and April 2nd and Charlie has two consecutive orders uh, April 5 and April 6. So now um, if you want to see only customers, if you want to return only customers having four consecutive orders. So then I will just keep greater than or equal to four. If, if I keep greater than or equal to four, I will just get Alice. So basically uh, this is the same uh, simple uh, SQL. Uh, 
a problem but here this this is the number uh, you need to change based on the question so i'll create a variable declare at the rate n int is equal to 4 okay so basically if you want uh, to change the um, a question to say, say if you want to get three consecutive orders or four consecutive orders instead of changing in this code just change the value in the variable so in this variable if you change it it will automatically return the customer so if i write only two then it will give you all those so this is the solution uh, i'm just reiterating again so basically in these kind of questions you always need to um, you always need to create a column which distinguishes uh, from the rest of the columns and uh, which categorizes as per our needs so here our need is to uh, to get the list of consecutive orders so the, to get the list of consecutive orders we need to add a new column which categorizes those consecutive orders into a single value so that's what we have done here so hope you all like this video um, please like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you have a nice day